Um, to explain the quadrig coordinate system, let's look at an ordinary Cartesian coordinate system. We have uh, an x um, axis and a y axis in the tra traditional uh, Cartesian coordinate system. And um, points are plotted in here by giving coordinates, uh, signed coordinates, uh, like um, say 0, 1, and that would be uh, 0 along the x axis and uh, 1 unit along the y axis. Um, so, like for instance, here um, in um, in the uh, quadrate coordinate system, let's let's explain uh, sort of a the, a precursor to the quadrate coordinate system. It's projection into uh, two dimensions. Uh, we can look at the projection of the quadrate system in uh, two, two dimensions as uh, three intersecting lines. Um, and uh, instead of given uh, the locations um, given in um, by uh, two coordinates, they're given in three coordinates. Uh, for instance, uh, like uh, one, one, one uh, would be um, say uh, uh, one along uh, one of these axes, and then one along the other axes, and then. Um, one back along another axis. So we can see that 1, 1, 1 would lead us back to the origin. We go 1 along this axis. Let's call this um, axis um, N. And uh, this one, maybe this one's axis S. And then this is the axis W. So we go um, 1 along N, 1 along S, and one along W, or one along, or rather, <laughs> one along N, one along W, and then one along S, and then we end up in the at the origin. Uh, so if we want to get out to say here, uh, we say like a one. Um, let's see, if north is first, then that would be zero along the the N uh, axis, and. Um, one along the the s axis so we go one along s and then we go one along w and so that would be if n is the first one and then uh, s is the second and w is the third coordinate then we would have zero uh, one one and so zero one one is zero along the n axis, uh, one along the s axis, and then one along the w axis, um, and then ending up at, at this point, uh, and that would be written out zero one one. Now, when we project this to, to make this into a quadrate coordinates, um, so in the projection of the quadrate coordinates into two dimensions uh, can give us uh, uh, three lines intersecting at 120 degrees to each other. Now, to pr pr to project this into the um, fourth uh, the fourth direction, um, we would add another axis, and we might call that the E axis. So we have the N, S, W, and then E axis. Uh, axis. Um, and now we uh, these these angles change because we're going to bring that up out of the. Uh, we're going to bring this up out of two dimensions. And we're, so we're going to bring this axis up like that. We're going to bring this one up like that and then this axis is going to be um, like like that so um, and then this would be cut off uh, here this would so it would essentially be okay we've got these three axes coming up intersecting at approximately 109 point uh, five I believe approximately um, and then uh, with, so now we have the so we have the n axis uh, which is this one um, coming off at 109.5 degrees uh, from each of the other axes and uh, from the new e axis uh, that we uh, have put on here so um, and then all of these we may call them rays uh, these rays emanating from the origin all of them intersect the others by uh, approximately 109.5 degrees. 
And uh, now to uh, to locate a coordinate in um, this system, uh, like in the projection into two dimensions, um, if we uh, say uh, like one 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 one, so the the n axis is one and the s axis is one one and the uh, w axis axis is one and the e axis is uh, one. We have um, one 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 and and we write that like we do with the um, Cartesian coordinates where there's the first, the second, the third, and the f now the fourth coordinate. And so uh, one, 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 one would result in a similar situation to what we had over here when we did uh, one, one, one or, no, 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 here uh, in the projection where we had had um, a one, one, one would come uh, in uh, two dimensions would be like one here, one one in this direction, then one in that direction, or one, no, it's like one in this direction, one in that direction, then one back in this direction, it brings you back to the origin. S same thing with now in four dimensions, because uh, if we go, um, now in four dimensions, we go uh, one uh, in each direction, then we end up back at the origin. Uh, now to say, um, let's, uh, get a point like one or like on this line on the uh, E line it's located on the E ray and it's one unit up the E ray then to write that out we would say uh, zero zero oh zero comma zero comma zero one that would be uh, no no travel along the uh, N axis no travel along the S axis axis and no travel along the uh, W axis and one unit up on the E axis. Um, some advantages uh, to the system, uh, not necessarily advantages but differences. Um, this system as opposed to the uh, Cartesian system which is um, more these, uh, the X and the Y coordinate and then a, th a third uh, Z coming up uh, through here. Um, this uh, is a necessarily signed system, and uh, this system, uh, the quadway coordinate system, isn't doesn't need uh, signs necessarily. It doesn't have to have negative uh, numbers in the system. Um, uh, any point in space can be expressed in the in the uh, quad ray system uh, with uh, four positive coordinates, or actually uh, three positive coordinates. One of them being zero. Uh, uh, there's always at least one zero in in this system, and this is called a more natural coordinate system. Uh, it, it's similar to the Cartesian system in that th there's three coordinates that are important in each uh, time, but in this system, uh, one coordinate is always at zero, uh, at least. There could be as more than, there could be two zeros, three zeros, or four zeros, but there's always at least one can be put to zero. And you can also express uh, this, the, um, the coordinates in this system by, um, like, if you had a, a negative one, negative one, uh, negative two, three, let's go to a new, new space to write. Um, if we did have, say, um, the coordinates in that system of uh, negative one, negative two, uh, see, three, and one, then um, what we would do is we would add the absolute value of the lowest number uh, to everything in the, the coordinate uh, set. And then, um, so we add um, two to everything. So we end up with uh, this one is 1, and the, the next coordinate, negative 2 plus 2, is 0. And then um, we have uh, uh, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then uh, 1 plus 2 is 4. And so w this um, quadway coordinate, uh, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 1, then becomes um, it expressed in its... Um, and I guess it's standard sense. I, I've forgotten the name uh, uh, for this. This is the um, basically the standard expression. Um, they're, they're all, all the numbers are positive. At least one is zero. So um, 
we have uh, um, 1, 0, 5, 4 from negative 1, negative 2, 3, 1. And um, huh, there, there are many, many, many things to say about the system, many uh, implications. Um, uh, one thing to say about it is that it, it, I, I think of it as a more natural system because it, it only needs uh, natural numbers. It doesn't need the negative numbers. The negative numbers are not in the natural number system. The uh, positive numbers are, and it doesn't need the negative numbers. So in, in a certain sense, it's more natural and that it can be expressed totally with natural numbers as opposed to needing the um, negative numbers. And um, there's... It's the thing that's kind of dis- difficult to express about this is its um, sim- simplicity from a digital perspective. Because in, um, in the, quad- uh, the standard Cartesian system, uh, it, it, it needs these negative sign numbers. And in, in, um, there are... These negative numbers mean extra directions. So you've got basically six directions going on here. You have uh, three axes, but there's six directions. There's negative uh, x and x, and we have uh, uh, y and negative y and, um, and, and z and negative z. And um, in, this, in the uh, quad ray system, um, there... There are just four directions. There's the, um, there's the let's call it the uh, N direction, the S direction, the W direction, and the E direction. Um, okay, well, I've got to call. I mean, I've got to go.